The new 60 Whiskey helicopter will replace the HH-60G Pavehawk medium lift combat search and rescue called SAR vehicle that entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 1982. Survivors on board. ETA. Get down. Big, big. Charlie Green 7 has been hit. Five, get down, Charlie. The HH-60W combat rescue helicopter called CRH is being developed by Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation in cooperation with Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Air Forces called U.S. Air Force CRH program. It is an advanced variant of the combat-proven UH-60M Black Hawk helicopter. The U.S. Air Forces has named its new search and rescue chopper Jolly Green 2, in honor of green painted search and rescue helicopters that plucked down pilots and aircrew from danger during Vietnam. The new helicopter, based on the UH 60 Black Hawk, is expected to enter service in the early 2020s. The name Jolly Green 2 is a homage to the HH 3 Jolly Green Giant and HH 53 Super Jolly Green Giant helicopters flown by U.S. Air Force search and rescue teams during the Vietnam War. The large helicopters were painted green and in association with the Jolly Green Giant, the famous mascot for the line of frozen vegetables. According to a service release, the Jolly Green 2 is armed with the following. The Gao 2, a Gatling-style gun that shoots a 7.62mm round at a rate of 3,000 rounds per minute. The Gao 18, a 50 caliber machine gun, capable of shooting 650 to 800 rounds per minute, and the Gao 21, another 50 caliber machine gun, that shoots at a rate of 950 to 1,100 rounds per minute. The Jolly Green 2 comes equipped with a wide range of capabilities that will ensure its crews continue carrying out their critical combat search and rescue and personnel recovery operations. For all U.S. military services and allies in contested and diverse environments. So, uh, before we begin our flying operations, uh, us crew members, we come out, we pre-flight the overall the entire helicopter and make sure it's ready to go. Key features of the Jolly Green 2 include advanced and improved defensive systems, vulnerability reduction, hover performance, electrical capacity, avionics, cooling, weapons, and cybersecurity capabilities. The helicopters departed from Lockheed Martin Sikorsky Training Academy for their new home at the commands of aircrews from Moody's 41st Rescue Squadron. The first unit to transition from the HH-60G Pavehawk to the HH-60W, and from the 413th Flight Test Squadron and 88th Test and Evaluation Squadron based at Duke Field, Florida. The HH-60W is an enhanced version of the U.S. Army's UH-60M Black Hawk. The new variant has additional fuel tanks, 
giving it an unrefueled 195 nanometers or 361 kilometers combat radius. It also comes with technologies to protect against surface-to-air missiles, including digital radar warning receivers, laser warning system and a missile and hostile fire warning system. The Sikorsky HH-60W Jolly Green 2 can be deployed in casualty evacuation, medical evacuation, non-combatant evacuation missions, civil search and rescue, humanitarian aid, disaster relief, and insertion or extraction of combat forces. The U.S. Air Force has completed the initial aerial refueling test for a combat search and rescue helicopter built by Lockheed Martin's Sikorsky subsidiary. The HH-60W Jolly Green II helicopter flew up to 3K feet above Eglin Air Force Base and linked with an HC-130 Jade aerial tanker to carry out the refueling test. The demonstration is a part of the 413th Flight Test Squadron's two-week developmental test for Jolly Green II's aerial refueling capacities. The team will monitor the helicopter's handling and its capability to attach to the fuel drug during the tests. The Sikorsky HH-60W Jolly Green 2 is under production as part of a $7.1 billion procurement program, with the target to buy a 112 aircraft. Deliveries are expected to begin in the second quarter of fiscal 2021. The helicopter is based on the current HH-60G Pavehawk, with improved avionics, armor, armament, and engines, among other characteristics.